Hello everyone and welcome to another video here on my channel. This time I wanted to talk about smart contract adoption and why it hasn't taken off. A lot of us know that cryptocurrencies has been in a bear trend for a long time and many people are negative to cryptocurrencies overall. But this video is not going to be about cryptocurrencies. We've, uh, have, we have enough channels on YouTube talking about cryptocurrency and the current trend that can do it better than me. But I wanted to talk about smart contracts generally because this is the sphere that I'm working in and I wanted to give you my opinion on why it hasn't taken off, why you and me aren't using smart contracts on a daily basis and why I think we're, we're quite far until we get there. And uh, I also throughout this video want to hear your feedback because there's a lot of different uh, views around this subject so please leave your comments below what you think. And I want to hear why you think smart contract hasn't taken off, why it isn't that popular. I want to begin by giving some examples of where smart contracts actually are used. And surprisingly, there are quite few. Of course, we see them within, uh, within investment spheres. We see them within crowd sales and token sales. So within investing and crowdfunding, they have become huge. And that is, of course, that is a good, solid place for them to be. I, I do like the ICO space generally, and I do see potential in it, even though it has been uh, quite bad so far with a lot of scams and a lot of unserious projects. But as a concept, I do like it, and I think it will be a good use of smart contracts. But apart from investing, there are really not a lot of production, uh, production services or products that uses smart contracts out there. I do know of one that um, has a insurance policy, a flight insurance policy that is uh, handled with smart contracts that will pay out your insurance money if your flight has been delayed. But apart from that, there are very few examples. So if you have any more examples of working smart contracts in production, uh, then please uh, leave them in the comments and I would love to hear them. With that said, let's get into the top reason why I think smart contract hasn't taken off yet. And it is the lack of oracles. And if you don't know what an oracle is, it is basically a single source or one source of truth. Because even though most smart, smart contract has incredibly clear conditions on when to execute certain actions, when to pay out certain amount, amounts, the actual enforcing of those conditions, meaning the actual input that will give that condition either a true or false uh, result, that needs to come from the external world. Because if you have, I don't know, a betting contract, you need to get the actual result of, for example, a game in order to figure out who has won or lost the bet. And if we don't have a clear single source of truth, an oracle for that, it will be difficult to trust the smart contract. Because smart contract is about uh, getting rid of the trust. It's, about, it's a trustless technology we're taught. But at some point in this chain, we'll need to trust something because the input to the smart contract is always going to come from the external world. And the external world, the real world that we live in, we all know is biased, right? We all have our subjective reality. Even though there must, there must be objective truth somewhere, we can all perceive it differently. And the previous example I took of the flight insurance policy is one example that handles this pretty well because we can all be at least quite uh, because we can all be quite unanimous in when a flight is delayed or when it's not so if i will get my insurance money when the flight is two hours delayed there are quite a lot of sources for that information that we generally can trust but what if we have a really complicated judicial contract that we need to enforce on the blockchain then you will have a lot of different opinions and you will have difficulty getting that single oracle to determine the truth. This is, in my opinion, the number one thing that limits the use of smart contracts today. It's lack of information that we can all trust. The second reason ties well into the first reason and it's about lack of IoT development because one of the things we're taught when we're studying smart contracts is that all of these problems will be solved by IoT because once we have IoT everywhere, Internet of Things devices, IoT devices everywhere, we have objective information that we can trust. And I don't really buy this. I think there is to some degree that we can have better data with IoT and when that develops and we have more sensors 
all around society, we will have more objective information, but you can always manipulate the data, you can always manipulate the sensors, so it won't be a uh, solution for the issues of trust that we see in the smart contract world. The third reason is a common problem that we see both within cryptocurrencies and within smart contracts, and that is the lack of good user-friendly um, interfaces. We're lacking good interfaces to interact with smart contracts, to interact with blockchains, and that is also a key factor that will drive this industry forward. So if any good designers are out there, you really need to focus your smart brains on this issue. How can we get the interfaces surrounding blockchains, surrounding smart contracts to really be user friendly so that we can drive all of these all of these people that are still not in this world into this wonderful world of cryptocurrency, of de decentralization and of smart contracts. So I would love to hear your opinions in the comments. Uh, I think it's important to keep an uh, objective view of the space that we're in. I'm a person that dedicates uh, all of my time to blockchains, to smart contracts. I live in this world, but still I think it's important to see both the positive sides and the negative sides that are holding us back. But I would love to hear your opinion as I said. So if you like the video, hit the like button. If you dislike the video, hit the dislike button and leave your comment in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next video.